hello all welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to install all the updates to the ec2 machine and then also install the lamp stack lamp is linux apache mysql and php so we are this is needed for us to launch the wordpress website we are going to follow the Amazon AWS documentation for this so that it makes our life easier. I'll be adding a link of this website in the YouTube video description. Please check that out. So uh, we have successfully connected BSSH to the instance. Uh, let us copy the first command and then enter it. In the terminal you can see the downloads are in progress this will take some time to complete let's wait till then the updates has been successfully completed let me clear my terminal and then let's come back to the website so now we are what we are going to do is we are going to install lamp maria db which is the db which wordpress will be using and then we are going to install php version 7.2 and the command to do these two installations is this let me copy paste that into the terminal this will take some time to complete let's wait till then uh, the packages have been installed successfully both uh, MariaDB and the PHP 7.2 version so uh, let's move on to the next step where so we are going to in the previous step we have uh, installed the extra repositories but in the current step uh, we are going to install Apache Web Server, MariaDB and PHP software packages. Uh, we are going to use yum install for that. So I'll copy the command. So in this step, we'll be installing Apache and then MariaDB server. Let me copy this the command and then paste it in the terminal. Let's wait for this to complete. This has it completed successfully. Let me clear out the terminal and then uh, now let us verify the version of the packages which we have installed. M info httpd. We can see that we have successfully installed version Apache version 2.4.39. And then uh, yeah, let's move on to the next step. Uh, we are going to start the Apache web server. So this Apache service has been started. So uh, we have whenever we reboot the instance, the Apache server goes down. So to automatically start the Apache instance even after reboot. So we are going to use this command, which is which will help us to automatically start the Apache web server after the instance has rebooted. And let us check if the uh, Apache web server is running. It says HTTPD is enabled. Let's move on to the next step. Uh, here you can see that they have asked us to configure HTTP on port 80, which we have already did in the part one video. Now that we have successfully completed the LAMP installation part, let us go and uh, load our instance URL. So to, to, to test that, let me copy this IP and then open a new tab and then hit enter. You can see that we have uh, successfully launched the test page. So 
So this means we have completed the LAMP installation part successfully and the Apache Web Server 2.4 version is running in our instance. So in the next video, we are going to set right permissions, uh, which is needed for us to complete this uh, LAMP process. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel.